Hi, I'm Michael Fuchs, and today I would like to demonstrate the layered music system that I programmed and we used in the games Radiant Laser Cross and Slime Climb. But first, some history. When we first started working on Radiant Laser Cross, the production lead had a very clear image in his head of how he wanted the music to behave. I sat down with his ideas and I mapped out all of the implications and developed the first iteration of what we'll be looking at today. I knew they wouldn't start work on the music until after I had left the project, so I had to design a system that was robust and approachable so that anyone on the team would be able to drop music into the game. For this demonstration, we'll be using the music from Slime Climb, which was the second iteration of this system. So it works like this. The music assets are delivered as collections of stems with some extra data to manage the playback. When a track is started, the system randomly selects a predetermined number of stems to start playing as layers. From here, we can do a few things with the music. We can ask it to add layers. We can ask it to remove layers. Or we can ask it to switch up what stems are currently playing. Any of these can add interest, adjust the mood, or give a sense of progression. So how does this look in a game? Say the player is finishing off a wave of enemies, and we want to increase the energy as the next wave enters. We can add a layer. Or maybe the player dies, we can reduce the intensity by removing layers. Or perhaps the player has just completed an obstacle. We can give them a feeling of progression by varying the layers. I like this system because it allows for a responsive soundtrack using subtle changes. Thank you.